Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a playroom tour. We're gonna to be talking all things playroom. I'm gonna show you this play space and I'm gonna show you where I got uh, most of my furniture. So it's gonna be a really exciting video. But before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, follow me. Okay, this is our playroom. And actually when we bought the house, this was a common area because there's three bedrooms on this floor and there were just couches and it was just staged like a little sitting area. But I immediately thought I could put our playroom here because our kids' bedrooms are on this floor. So I thought it was absolutely perfect. I also went with neutral tones in this space because this is not a closed off room. It actually opens up to our elevator. So you kind of walk past it. Our laundry room is on this floor as well. And since it's an exposed space, I wanted it to be neutral and not look like Disneyland when you walk past it all the time. So it's still a very calming, neutral space and I love it. I really enjoy adding personalized touches to our home. Just like this piece here, I actually got this made on Etsy and it says Fun Size Frat House. And I just named the space our front size frat house because I have three boys, I'm a boy mom, and it's just always like a circus in here. And I also added this house looking chalkboard, which is so cute for the kids to just play on. I also add personalized notes like on Christmas, on the kids' birthdays, or when they lose a tooth, any special moment, I like to add to this board. And I think it's just a nice touch to the playroom. Moving along, we also created this library for the kids, which these are acrylic shelves that I found on Amazon. And we just added enough to fit all of our books. We have tons of books. The kids love to read. And I also like to incorporate books whenever we have holidays, like Christmas. I mean, even Easter, I add little books to the kids' baskets. And this book right here, oh my gosh. This book I read probably 30 times on Easter because the kids loved it so much. These pillows on the ground are just perfect for them to cuddle up and grab a book. I got all of these pillows on Amazon. Some of them are actually outdoor pillows that I thought were really cool for the space because when I was searching for black and white pillows, it was kind of giving like me like a stark white. And we also have neutral tones in this space and it just gives us like a little boho chic black and white theme that I love. This is our focal wall in the playroom and I absolutely am obsessed with this wallpaper. Actually our interior designer from Atlanta, her name is Kai Williamson, I love Kai. She helped me pick out this wallpaper and it was absolutely perfect. It matches our rug, but not too matchy matchy. It just has the lines on there and it's still a clean black and white vibe for this space. And I actually didn't even wanna hang anything on this wall because it's just so dope alone and it was just perfect. Thanks, Kai. Okay, the next thing I'd like to show you guys are these beautiful baskets that I found. I found these beautiful baskets and I don't remember exactly where I got them from. I'll tag them so you guys can actually shop these baskets because they're so perfect for the clutter in your playroom that you don't want on display. In these baskets, we usually put costumes and just bulkier toys that we really don't want shown. And these are perfect for when they're cleaning up. They like to just throw stuff in here too. Actually, I don't, I'm afraid to open it. Oh, this ain't that bad. This wall that I'm about to show you guys is my absolute favorite and it's portraits of the kids. I did a little photo shoot when Kendrick's was like nine months. Printed out in black and white and just blown up. They're almost like life size. But actually they're like bigger than life size, especially for Kinder. But they're just so dope and so perfect for this space. We got them in black and white to match the neutral tones of the space. And they're just so cute. The kids love them. They love to come and look at the pictures. And this is really a talking point. When people come over to my house, they love to see these pictures. And they're always asking where I got them from. And each of these pictures really show the kids' personality. Okay, in the middle of our playroom, we have our ball pit that the kids actually got for Christmas. And this I actually found on Amazon and this wooden slide which is so perfect 
It's the perfect size for Kendricks. He can slide down it and climb up the little staircase by himself. He's one, by the way. And this is perfect for him, even though all the way up to Kenzo, he liked to ride on it too, and he's eight, but it works. And then in the middle, we have this table that I got from Pottery Barn Kids with these cute little tree stem stools that I found from, I forget the name of the designer, but I will tag her. These are so perfect. They're actually real wood stumps, so no two are the same. I thought they were so dope and so perfect for the kids. They're the perfect height for the table. And then in the middle, we have just these wooden blocks that I like to display to make the playroom look super clean. It goes with our neutral theme as well. Over here on this wall, we have this Ikea bookshelf that I actually flipped sideways and put these little bins in there. These bins are from Amazon. The labels are also from Amazon. And this is just a perfect way to store toys and label them so when the kids are putting them away, it's super easy for them to clean up. This bin says cars and in it, we have all types of cars and transportation. <laughs> Over here we have Lego Duplos. I really like how this came out. We labeled them, but we also add the little black labels to add a little touch of black and neutral to go with the theme of the whole playroom. Up here we have some little vases that I found at Home Goods that were perfect for the space to tie in again more of the black. And above the bookshelf we actually have this TV that the kids barely even use. The kids have so much fun in this space and they really enjoy it. So I feel like I did a good job. <laughs> All right guys, that sums up our playroom tour. This is actually the playroom in our LA house. If you wanna see an Atlanta playroom tour, please let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys wanna see next. See you guys later. <laughs> Bye.